we will not stand for Senate Bill 129. It's been fought in 2014, it's been, it's been defeated in 2014, it's been defeated in 20, hopefully in 2015. But see, Senator McCoon still wants to keep pushing this type of legislation upon the people. All he has to do is look to Indiana and see what has happened there. We have a bill um, from our local senator, um, State Senator Josh McCoon, and that really represents what is behind this. It represents discrimination. We want to make sure that everyone knows that people in Columbus, in his area, do not support that. We want to make sure that freedom and equality are the rule of the land. There are people in Columbus who care about this issue and care in a way that actually says that this law is wrong, this bill is wrong, bills like it are wrong, no matter what state is passed in or what form it may guys it may come in, and that we can do better as a state. We can do better as a city. We can do better as an entire region of this, of, of this country and welcome LGBT people into the fold. This is the next civil rights movement and we're going to continue to fight it tooth and nail just like he has to keep the wording out of the document. If it was not a big deal, if it's about religious beliefs, then why will he not let civil liberty protections and a non-discrimination clause be put into the article? He refuses to do that. They try to dismantle it every time someone puts it in there, like Jacobs did, and that's exactly what he continues to do. This bill is nothing more than a license to discriminate in Georgia, period. Anytime you elect a legislator, if the legislator is not committed to serving everyone, regardless of sexual orientation, regardless of gender, regardless of religion, regardless of anything, if, they, if the legislator is not in, um, dedicated to freedom and equality, that we don't need that legislator. We need, there are plenty who will do the job for us.